Oops. Hi, Cecilia. You're really close to my face right now. This is a new introduction to tell you that I recorded a different beginning, but then I decided to get rid of it because I went in a more birthday-directed route and I thought that was a better course of action. So, hi. This is the beginning of your video. Okay, I'm back. In a half-assed attempt to do something nice for your birthday, I went ahead and liked all of your photos on Facebook, and it just got me thinking about Facebook and our relationship, and how in my head, Facebook has been a very definitive factor. And looking through it, without your knowledge, this like maps out our friendship and also my road to self-discovery. And I just, I thought I'd take you through it. Starting with your, your oldest profile picture, we see you smiling. And I remember you telling me that you used to be self-conscious about your smile, and so you didn't like doing that. And then your next picture is a picture of you and I wearing tiaras. And we've already discussed this day and how you were at my house for like seven hours and I recorded it because I'm a creep, like a legitimate serious creep. I don't know why you became friends with me after that, but I recorded it and I left my room multiple times finding excuses to get away from you because I could not handle the social interaction curling up in a ball on the floor in the kitchen. And you know, I've told you about this. Then we see you holding up a gingerbread house, and we made those gingerbread houses together for extra credit in German class, and I'd like you to know that these gingerbread houses are responsible for that entire incident with Nick. Do you remember Nick from junior year and how he asked me out at October 31st? We weren't, I don't know if we were close then, but anyway, he asked me out to go on a date at October 31st when he was volunteering at the SFE table and I thought he was joking so I said yes and then he started stalking me but that day we had leftover um gingerbread and so you and I walked around during lunch and we were giving away gingerbread and he ate some of my gingerbread and he like freaked out and he fell in love with me because I made awesome gingerbread apparently then <clears throat> There are a series of pictures of you. There's one of you on a mountain, presumably a mountain, and there's snow. There's a picture of you with a heart and you singing karaoke. I was there that day, by the way, when you guys were singing karaoke. I was behind that couch hiding and trying not to breathe loudly. Then there's a picture of you at some sort of event and two pictures of you in tennis. And then there's a smiling picture of you. And I remember thinking, man, she's so confident. Not those exact words, but basically, I was jealous of your real life abilities. And there are a few more pictures of you making faces and stuff. And so that night with the tiaras, you don't remember this, but We've discussed this, but so now you know. But you signed me up for Facebook, and that night I spent a lot. I, I spent a lot of time looking at your pictures on Facebook, and just thinking about how you had a real life and you were so neat. And I just really wanted to be friends with you because you could take pictures of yourself and post them on the internet for people to see from real life. And that was just the most mind blowing concept to me. And I just remember thinking you were just this picture of normalcy and coolness. And I wanted to be your friend. Moving on, there are pictures of you now where you've gotten older. And this is more of where our friendship started out. And I remember these pictures being posted. Like the one of you making that face and you're like, new haircut. And there's a picture of you and I at your birthday concert in senior year. And a picture of you and Alex in graduation. And when we first started like being friends, I didn't think it was going to go anywhere. Because whenever we had German class, we'd be close. And then German class would end. And then we wouldn't talk again until German class started up again. And then we'd be close. And that was the pattern for the first two years, basically. And I remember this one time we were at Super Burger after studying in junior year. And you said that you thought we'd be friends for the rest of our lives or for at least a really long time because 
we were always close, we always came back to each other or something, and I remember thinking, yeah, I don't think that's going to happen because we always lose touch after German class. Little did I know, this was junior year, I remember, it was towards the end of the German class in junior year, and I remember that little did I know that senior year would come along and I would restructure myself and my friendship group and I would find you, the girl that I stalked on Facebook, and you and I would become best friends and decide to participate in a foreign exchange program and run off to Europe together. Little did I know. <laughs> Moving on, there are now a series of pictures of you in Europe. Well, first there are pictures of you here. Well, there's one of you here. And then there's a series of pictures of you from Europe. <laughs> and... I don't need to talk about that and my feelings, but I'm glad it happened even when we had those days when we hated each other and even when it was morning and you found out that I'm not a morning person and stuff. Now moving on, we have pictures of you in college and I like to think of these as the golden years minus Liz and it's kind of strange that for a long time, like, you and I were like this, we were like this, we were like, like, super besties, and, like, we saw each other all the time, and now it's gone back to me pining over our friendship and your life and stalking you on Facebook, not really, that's not the direction I wanted to go in, but what I wanted to say was the same thing, what I'm trying to say is that you have this really awesome life. And there's evidence of it on Facebook. And it's just, it's kind of nice symmetry that four years later, I can go back and look at Facebook and see your life and say, wow, she's really great. She's really neat. I'm so glad we're friends. I'm so glad that she's my best friend. And that's what I was trying to say, that it's a nice turn. Oh, I'm getting emotional, Cecilia. This is so unattractive. Future husband, if you see this, this is what you're going to get. But anyway, we're not talking about future husband. We're talking about you, best friend, current and forever. And so it's just, it's nice that even though I'm not really part of your life, like I can still go on Facebook and, and feel that connection to you. Because Facebook is about making connections and stuff. And basically, you're really awesome. And I'm glad we're friends. And unlike that day in Super Burger, as we shared a tray of curly fries, I do think we're going to be best friends for the rest of our lives. Or at least a very long time. But probably forever. Because, like, you're really awesome. And so I'm going to keep stalking you on Facebook forever and so that's really it happy birthday um sorry that I sorry that I'm not there and that this video is so long and um, that I'm so ugly for it and anyway I hope that your 20th year is amazing and that you have an amazing day even though you have classes and that whatever celebrations you do with your friends are awesome and great and stuff. And when you come home for summer, I'm totally going to commandeer you like every single day. And your mom's just going to have to get over it on you too. If you thought that you were ever going to have a, like five minutes alone to see other people. Mm -mm. No, not going to happen. We're going everywhere together. I have this huge long list of places that I want to go in San Francisco. Primarily places to eat and stuff. But yeah, so I'll show you the list some other day. And yeah, I love you. For realsies. Okay, bye.